One of the limitations of TCP, particularly in mobile environments, is it doesn't support multi-homing or mobility very well. Let me show you what would typically happen uh, to a smartphone as it transitions from a wireless connection over Wi-Fi to a wireless connection over a mobile data network like uh, LTE. So when you're connected via Wi-Fi, let's say you're on UB's network, um, your device, like other devices on the internet, has an IP address. Um, and any connections that you make um, are tied to that IP address. So that IP address might be something like 128.205.43.10 or whatever, okay? Um, when your device connects to the LTE network provided by your mobile data carrier, it has a different IP address, and let's just make up one. Let's call it 16.17.18.19. And normally what happens is, let's say you're inside, you're connected to the Wi-Fi network, you're um, downloading a video, or you're streaming some music or something. Let's say you're streaming some music. So you're streaming music, you're listening, you're happy, you walk outside, and this connection drops. So that connection's gone. Now the problem is, you can re you have this other connection. You can reconnect to the LTE network that you're you know you're paying to use. But the connection has a new IP address, and this is and the TCP was not designed for this. TCP was not designed for the IP address to change during the connection. And so typically, what has to happen is the player has to notice that the network has changed and reestablish a new network connection with the same server using this new IP address. Um, um, and then try to recover the stream. Um, and so this, and this can cause interruptions in, in playback. You may have noticed this if you stream, um, if you stream content in this type of scenario. And so this is this is sort of frustrating. So there's something new that's being developed. It's called multipath TCP. Multipath TCP solves two problems uh, here. One is this roaming problem. The other thing that's interesting about multipath TCP is it's designed to allow you to combine these connections together. So you might also say, why does my phone have to choose? Why does it have to choose to connect to the Wi-Fi network or to connect to this LTE network? You know, I'm allowed to use both. Should I be able to use both at the same time? And what multipath TCP does is it allows one um, device to use, this is called multi-homing, simultaneously two different connections, combine them together at the transport layer into a stream that higher level protocols can use without having to worry about the details of, of how the stream is actually assembled. And so what happens actually within the core of the internet is your, your computer, uh, your phone, actually has two different entry points to the internet. So one of them is here, maybe that's your UB connection, the other one's here, that's your LTE connection. And data that's being streamed back from the server in this case is actually tr uh, following multiple different routes back to you. So one of the routes could be here, another route could be here. And so there's something nice about multipath TCB in that it actually allows you to exploit what's called path diversity. So if one of these connections starts to be slow, Multipath TCP will try to direct more traffic down the other connection. Same thing if this connection gets slow. And so there's more redundancy in the network because I actually have two different places where I'm connected to the internet at the same time. The other thing Multipath TCP allows me to do is to add and remove connections to this sort of multipath connection whenever I want to. So if, I'm, if I establish this multipath connection inside, I might not have an LTE connection, so I might not connect to LTE initially, but as I go outside, I can, take, I can tear down this connection that I have to the Wi-Fi network, and I can add a connection to the LTE network. And this is pretty much what I did before. The big difference here is that the application level protocol, your streaming music player, is totally oblivious to this. It doesn't have to care. In the past, the music player or whatever application had to do this manually. With multipath TCP, it happens at the transport layer behind the scenes, and nothing on top needs to know about it.
So from the perspective of the application or perspective of whatever is the client that's using the network, nothing has really changed. It's still getting data, but behind the scenes, the data connection has been shifted from entering at one point in the internet with a particular IP address to entering at a different point in the internet with a particular IP address. So this is a pretty exciting development in TCP and a very modern way to connect to the internet using all of the interfaces that you have available.